Alright, what's up ladies and gentlemen of YouTube, so I'm going to be bringing you guys a brand new video today and this could be talking about things that really annoy me while I'm going to see a movie at the cinema. So the first things first, let's talk about one of the first things that really does annoy me and grinds my gears when I'm going to the movie theaters. And that is the people that show up 15 or 30 minutes late to a movie. It's like, come on guys, like there's ways for you to get to the movie theater early before you even have to worry about like kind of obstructing other people's uh, views while they're watching a f cinema because we showed up 15 to 30 minutes early to see the movie so we got the better seats but when people show up 15 20 minutes even 30 minutes late to a movie it's like why did you even bother to come in at this late of the movie anyway you've already missed like the crucial part was that the beginning and the end of the well you didn't really miss the end of the film but you did miss the beginning of the film which kind of relates to what happens towards the end of the film because movies rely on the opening image as well as the ending image of the film to kind of convey the plot um, and then we're sitting there watching the movie and then you come around you try to get the middle aisle because you want that perfect spot and you're obstructing people's view of the cinema um, that is really disrespectful to the people that showed up early that took the time to get there early and made sure they're early now I can understand why some people might not get to the theater early and that's because either traffic was terrible or they just were in like a dinner situation and they couldn't get to the uh the theater on time but like five ten minutes is acceptable but not thir 15 or even 30 minutes it's just kind of annoying to have to sit there and deal with if you can't make it 15 or 30 minutes towards that um initial show time try going towards the next showing um if it's at a mall go sit like in the mall and kind of like do something at the mall for a while or just find something to do until the next showing starts. You don't have to be there and ruin other people's experiences of that movie because you decide to show up late. Now, there's certain instances where this might not be out of your in your control. So, I'm going to give this one sort of a pass. Um, two, the people that are uh, talking on their phone uh, during the movie theater. This really grinds my gears. Um, it's like the movie, like before the movie, you get these previews that kind of tell you to... Uh, to kind of shut off your phone and to not be texting on your phone and um, not to be kind of like doodling on Facebook and texting people while you're watching the movie but every so often there's these people that kind of want to ruin the movie for you when they want to ruin the movie experience for you so they're talking on their phone um, they're texting on their cell phone and they're just being an overall disturbance towards the other guests that are in the theater um, if you really got an important text message or even phone call look at the message if it's an important text message get out of the theater and either answer the phone or text on the phone it's really more gracious to the people that are already sitting there that don't really text on their phone and don't want to see the bl the glowing uh, blue screen um, in the front row it's just rather annoying um, three the person that talks during the entire film it's really annoying to have to even like tell people not to talk while you're watching a movie if you're at home with a group of friends or even like family members then it's acceptable if your family members want to be interrupted during the movie uh, to have you talking throughout the entire film. It's kind of one of those things where in your pub when you're in public situations you just don't do that type of thing because it does affect the overall movie experience for the rest of the people. Nobody wants to hear your commentary unless you're shooting a video for it afterwards or you're talking about it after the fact. But please leave your comments to yourself. Nobody wants to hear you. There's been instances where I've been sitting in a movie theater and there's been either people that are talking or people that have been disrupting the theater because they're on their cell phones talking and it's just overall just don't do that in general um, for the person that's munching on food and being an overall loud sort of guest in the theater um, they are stuffing their face full of food they're either eating nachos or candy and stuff and they're being really loud about it they're not even like trying to be quiet about it and it's like, come on, man, if you really want to do this, like, just go outside and eat your food and be a little bit quiet or keep your voice to a minimum when you're eating your food. You get the crunching sound effects and stuff, and you just don't need that when you're watching a film and trying to enjoy it by yourself or with, like, your significant other. Um, it's disruptive to the theater guests that are sitting there that are doing things quiet. And, like, even every once in a while, it's fine if you're a little bit loud, if you can't be quiet um, per se but not through the entire freaking movie. Nobody wants to hear you munching down on your munchies. Um, so those are the things that kind of grind my gears when I'm watching a movie sort of at the cinema with myself or even with my friends. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And um, if you guys like this um, and you have your own kind of comments and stuff on what you think um, really annoys you, 
when you're at the cinema with your friends or family, uh, please leave it in the comment section below and let me know kind of your thoughts on this uh, video. And as always, guys, if you like this, you want to see more, click right here to see more, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace!